hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started so create new print we select a3 size we have resolution 300 and we create double click on this background here to unlock it we're going to copy this hexa code right here click to add a new solid color flow so I'm going to paste this hexa code and click OK so solid color flow now we close this copy the next hexa code we copy add another solid color flow and we paste the hexa code okay so we're going to select our rectangle to draw a rectangle shape right here we have it this way change the color flow to white so we're going to select the add anchor point too so we add an anchor point here And we're going to drag it down hold shift and drag this up undo we drag this up like this way shift shift and we drag it up hold shift and drag both up we undo okay so we drag all up at once yes a bit and we drop this we raise this up We raise this up again and do we select and drag it up so we select this the move to send this up okay we raise it up a bit control j we have another copy we drop this copy down and drop this layer beneath the first one select the top most layer this one grab our rectangle tool and change and we have the stroke as this color here change the size to 25 we're going to select the second layer raise it up okay far place embedded look for my item so we see download okay we got select this one and replace i'm going to convert this to a smart object so that i don't lose the details when i'm transforming okay control tv transform click the check mark to confirm it so i right click and create a clipping max okay select all three layers ctrl g and i group so we have it here we transform a bit make it bigger click the check mark to confirm so i grab my ellipse tool draw an ellipse shape right here change the color for to white have the stroke size change the stroke to this color you have the stroke size as 25 ctrl j we duplicate we duplicate once again so we have three layers three ellipses okay we move it and we off this we click the eye icon to off these layers so we have it right here head over to far place embedded we select this item replace and tap convert to smart object so control tv transform 
click the check mark to confirm so I right click on this layer and create a clipping marks select this these two layers ctrl g and group them okay now it has one group and transform it a bit we make it bigger click the check mark to confirm we select this layer and move it up okay go right head over to file place embedded and select the next item select ketchup the tomato ketchup convert this to a small object transform a bit convert to small objects convert this layer to small object with the max grab our brush tool we have foreground color as black so we click to reveal the layer beneath and click here as well so we have this layer, this tomato ketchup here we will see the bit ok we adjust and click the check mark to confirm head over to far place embedded select this item please click the check mark to confirm select this ellipse to move it up so we have it here ok Select this control TV transform. We have it on top of this layer, the ellipse. We size a bit, click the check mark to confirm. We right click and create a clipping max. Okay, so we select this layer and the one beneath control TV group. Control TV transform. Okay, click the check mark to confirm. So we select this and move it. We reduce it a bit. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. So we select. Click the check mark to confirm. We send it up. Select this group. Control to resize to transform a bit okay click the check mark to confirm so we bring the next layer we own the next ellipse file and file place embedded we place control t we transform we convert it to a small object first we transform Okay. Give me check mark to confirm. Select this layer to create a clipping max. Control G in group. So I have it here. Give the check mark to confirm. Select group 3 and move it up a bit. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. Select this group, group 4. And we have it here. Click the check mark to confirm. So we move to copy our test design studio pitch copy so control v we paste click to confirm change the color flow change the size 72 change the color flow to white We grab our 
rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle shape right here increase the corner radius we have the color fill as white Oh, sorry. Can't find this layer. So we grab our rectangle tool. Draw another rectangle shape. Change the color tool to white. Increase our corner radius to 90. I'm going to move on to gradient overlay. I already have my gradient overlay set. So we'll click OK. So we'll change the size to 16. Change it to 30. Move it up. We're going to move this layer up. Select the test to press enter. Press enter. So click the check mark to confirm. Control T we transform. Okay. So we have it here. We copy. We copy this text. See, we paste. Click the check mark to confirm. Change the font to the Coco Boost font. I'm going to select the move tool. Now our test tool and cut this. We highlight and cut this. Click the check mark to confirm. And we paste. Change this to apply this capital D. We're going to change the color. We have the size there. 44. So control A and we center it horizontally in the middle. Ctrl J, we have another duplicate. We have a duplicate. I'm going to select this layer. Change the color from. So copy my hexa code right here. Copy. And I'm going to paste. So this color we paste. I'm going to select this second layer. And move it a bit under it, okay. Just like that. Select this text. Grab my text and then cut this. So control V we paste. Change this to capital C. Crisp. I'm going to change the font size. 72 okay we change it to 80 okay we change this text change the font it's the bottom blank We change the size to 60. How about I test it and change this to capacity? Okay, we have it here.
Okay. So we select this all these layers and we group. So we have one group here. Control T we transform. Click the check mark to confirm. So control A and we center in the middle. Control D with the select. Crop the rectangle to enter a rectangle shape right here. Increase the corner radius to 50. Change the color flow to white. So I copy this text. Receive orders for copy. Select my text and paste. To select the foreground color, the background color we have over here. Change the size state. I'm going to change it to 36. No, sorry, 36. Okay. We select this thing and we group. Control A, we have it in the middle. Control D, we dig select. So we copy this. Copy. Add my test to learn paste. I'm changing the color to white. Add my move to we adjust a bit. Press T for test to enter. Change this to capital B. We have built it. We drop this a bit. Okay. We raise it up. Select the group four. We raise it up a bit. Control T we transform, we reduce it. Okay. Control A, we have it in the middle. Select group 6. Raise it up a little, a bit. This as well. So we grab our rectangle too. I draw rectangle shape down here. To change the color flow to white. To this color. Okay. Control A, we have it in the middle. Control D, we take select. To increase the corner radius. So we copy this test. So T we paste. Change the color from to this background color. Okay. Change the font to Avalon. Go to test properties and we're going to bold in this. Now to tap the line by here. Okay, click the check mark to confirm. Control. So we select this. Control. We have it in the middle.
Ok. Mm -hmm. To select this here, yeah. group 5. Control T, we're going to transform it to reduce it a bit. So we have it, Control A, we have it in the middle, horizontally. So we select this group, raise it up. Okay. Drop it a bit. Select group 5. And we're going to raise it up. We raise it this way. Select this layer. This group. Group 5. Group 6, I mean. So we raise this group up a little. Then there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next tutorial.